Hello, this is an Astroneer tutorial about explosives, uh, specifically the properties of dynamite and the properties of explosions themselves. So there are two types of explosives, fireworks and dynamite. We're primarily going to be talking about dynamite because uh, fireworks mainly just take a second to launch, go up, and make a nice light. So uh, very nice, but uh, dynamite uh, can uh, deform the soil. It destroys the soil um, around it when it explodes. Um, both are made with explosive powder in the backpack printer. Um, where an explosive powder is made out of uh, two pieces of carbon and um, uh, a sulfur gas at the chemistry lab. So uh, some of the unique properties of dynamite is that it really only destroys one thing at a time. So in this case, see, you can get you have it turned the the uh, medium rover into debris, but the RTG and the rover seat are okay. Um, the what dynamite will actually destroy? So while it will destroy some things, um, it is somewhat variable in terms of what it will actually destroy. Um, uh, the, the, another property is that if you try and shred dynamite, it explodes instantly. Um, so you want to be aware of that if you have any idle arms that are just picking up things at random. Um, and another interesting thing, let me just pick these up, is that uh, dynamite harvests the resources around it. So in this case, we blew up a, a, a large section of organic and it just had an organic. So if you want to say quickly pick up a bunch of compound, you could stick a bunch of dynamite around it, blow it up, and then you just get the compound out. You wouldn't be able to get the soil, but you know, it's 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 fast versus efficient. Um, there are other things that can contribute to explosions. So while dynamite is the only thing you can detonate, uh, hydrogen, methane, and hydrazine contribute to, contribute to explosions. So, and they also make them um, kind of a bluish tint. So, if we go like this, we got that big blue. This is uh, bigger than normal. Um, this dynamite can also contribute to explosions. So, uh, the explosion them itself. So, if you have one one thing that can explode, uh, usually dynamite you get just a specific hole. But what happens is when it detonates, it checks an area around it to see if there's more, um, more explosive objects in, in, in the area. And then it just adds uh, diameter to the existing explosion. It doesn't create secondary explosions. So with these four, if I detonate it, you can see that this is a circle so it's not it doesn't look like a clover there's not four lobes where there's four separate explosions it basically said oh this is blowing up there's three more I'm going to increase this by a, a size of three um, you can see this more in this demonstration so they're they're kind of spaced out more and more and more and more and at some point it stops contributing to the overall explosion and creates a secondary explosion. So there is a limit to how much explosives it's going to uh, add, how the distance that explosives can be apart before it, it stops adding it to the initial explosion and creates its own secondary explosion. Um, the, the gases, uh, this is, this is uh, eight hydrogen with a dynamite. They uh, do increase the size of explosions. This is uh, methane, but not as much. There we go, methane and hydrazine. Not as much as dynamite itself. So if we go there, and then so this is actually dynamite. This is eight dynamite. So that was eight hydrazine. If we look at the size of the holes. Um, we can see that the methane and the hydrogen are roughly the same size. The, the hydrazine may be a tiny, tiny bit bigger, but probably not. But the actual dynamite is much bigger. So in terms of making explosions, 
uh, more dynamite increases the size faster than uh, uh, any of the other uh, methane, hydrogen, or hydrazine. However, if you uh, want to create large explosions and you don't want to scramble around and, and pick up tons of uh, uh, organic to make, comp, uh, to make uh, carbon to turn into explosive powder, you can just set up an um, atmospheric condenser to, to connect to condense uh, hydrogen and add that. It won't be as big, but it will still give you a, a, a much larger explosion than um, if you just had one dynamite on itself. There is another way to artificially increase the size of your explosions. So here we have this setup, which has uh, 97 uh, dynamite attached to it. And if Watch it explode, explodes very big. Oh, there goes all the harvested uh, organic. So it creates a very large explosion. Um, but over here, we have 24 dynamite and they're stacked each so that they're within the check radius of each other. So all of these get checked and added to the original explosion. But because they're farther apart, for some reason, it increases the distance. So if you look at that, see that was 24 and that was 96 and they are pretty similar in size. You, you can get, uh, um, you can basically trick the game by creating a line of dynamite um, instead of just stacking it all up. There are issues uh, when you make very large explosions uh, with uh, the game not handling it properly. Uh, so I'm recording this on Xbox, uh, so I don't know what, what the behavior is like on PC. But uh, once you start getting big enough, uh, the, the uh, game will uh, not be able to handle collecting all the resources, or you'll have a lot of uh, stalactites and stalagmites or various other objects just floating in the air. Um, so those are uh, issues uh, to look out for when you're dealing with very large explosions. Also, render distance uh, may have an effect on how big explosions can get. Um, it, it seems like once once an object gets far enough away, the, the, the game puts it in kind of a background processing and so doesn't deal with it the same way as it would um, things that are closer to you. So um, that seems to limit the amount of explosion, uh, the size of the explosions you can get. So here is a line of 20 medium platforms with a line of dynamite across them. Uh, this is going to go past the render distance effectively. Um, so you'll, you'll see in a second where this detonates. And give it a second. There it goes. You can see all the issues with the stalagmites down there. Things are all over. But you can see that it generated a second explosion. This is all, it was a single line, but it's multiple explosions. Uh, so it's a very big explosion, but it, it, it triggers somewhere around the render distance uh, to be a different one. Uh, this is uh, in the middle of a line of 40 uh, um, platforms, uh, 20 going to the left, 20 going to the right. So we can see 20 platforms that way and 20 platforms the other way. This is going to get a, a little turn into a slideshow, so um, just a heads up on that. Um, on the left side of your screen, you're going to be able to see the uh, hole, so it's going to make a giant hole. There's going to be, oh, there it goes. Now it's got to figure out where the hole is. Um, there's going to be a giant hole, and you can see uh, the secondary hole on that side for the render distance. There we go. Oh. Here we go, slideshow. Okay, so you can see the, the hole over there. So it did, while it created one giant explosion, it's still, once it's at the render distance, it, 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 uh, the, the explosions uh, didn't, didn't add up. And then the same thing on this side. You can see over here that uh, uh, the explosion uh, went past the render distance on this side. So it seems to be the render distance. I'm not 100% sure on that. But um, that is my best guess as what to what is causing that. And finally, what Astroneer Explosives video wouldn't be complete 
without blasting a hole to the center of the planet and falling in. So here's that. Thank you for watching.